Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial of Made By Me. This is a chance for you to explore colour and pattern without the fear of making a mistake. You've already bought a collage kit so you'll see that you've got all the equipment inside the kit that you need to make this beautiful artwork. This artwork itself is called Breaking the Waves and I will show you a first what's in the kit when you purchase one and I will show you over the next little while how to actually create all the different papers that make this beautiful artwork. Okay, so your kit has arrived and it will come in brown paper and this will be what your box will look like. So open it up and see what's inside. You can reuse any parts of the, the box obviously and the string if you want to, but I'm just going to show you quickly what's inside. So you open it up and you'll find that there's a letter in here and you'll find on here the links to the website and you will see all the instructions are given to you by email so that if you just want to follow along using a written copy with photographs you can do that as well. You're going to need four different pieces of coloured painted paper for this artwork. There's five pieces of cartridge paper actually in your kit. You'll have also some paints like this and they're all labelled with the names and inside I've also put the names of the colours so you can distinguish between a blue green for instance, a turquoise and a grass green. You'll soon see when you squeeze them out that you have definitely got different colours in, in your pack and um, hopefully you won't get confused at all. You'll also find in the instructions the actual paint colours are written with capital letters but if I've mixed up a colour, for instance if I've mixed up a colour like a very light yellow green, I would write that using lowercase. So that's one way of to distinguish between the colours in your that are straight from the tube and the colours that have been mixed. Uh, you've also got the bits of equipment that you're going to need to make your painted papers and if you go online and you can see the techniques video it will show you some very basic techniques for sponging um, and creating different textures with different pieces of equipment. So you've got a piece of card that's wonderful for creating nice uh, patterns and also lovely flat areas of colour. You've got bubble wrap, you've got corrugated card like this, you've got a paintbrush, awesome for doing stipple techniques or just creating you know some brush strokes. Um, the, the artwork is up to you how you create it but and you, but you've got the guidelines there if you need them. Got a glue stick, remember to use lots of glue when you're actually sticking your painted papers down on your canvas. You've got some sponge, you've got some cotton buds which are inside this little pack and you've got um, a, a plastic mat that you can put down on your table uh, just to protect your area. You should be able to do this on a kitchen table or an area that's about 70 centimetres by 70 centimetres. You will create the painted papers first and then you will use those papers, cut them up and make your artwork. So you can see here that these are painted papers but this here is actually a printed piece of paper and that is in your artwork, uh, in your box as well. So here I've included some patterns for you. You've also got um, some letters, names like November, December but you could cut out something from a magazine and use those for the sales for instance here. You will also use the guide so you've got in here a coloured piece, a uh, coloured photograph of the artwork itself but yours may not look exactly like this. You've got your patterns so this shows you where the bits go and you've got your canvas. Okay, so everything is in there that you are going to need. You will need a small pair of scissors to cut out the different shapes and a water vessel like an ice cream container or a jar will work fine. An old rag is also handy and you need a paint tray of some sort like a lid from an ice cream container. So let's get started. We're going to start first by putting the sky onto the canvas using your blue and white paints. And the important thing is just have fun, relax, put on some music and enjoy yourself. Use your canvas in what we call the landscape position and the sky is going to take up about a third of the actual depth of this canvas. I've mixed here some medium blue paint, 
blue is straight from the tube and white straight from the tube. You want to dip your sponge into the water, squeeze it out and then firstly you just get yourself some blue onto your sponge and we want to drag that across the top of the canvas like so. Now feel free to go right to the edges and then right round the other side too if you want to but you don't have to. You can do it later too if you want. So there's my blue then the next color I'm going to add is the medium blue so I'm just washing my sponge out a little bit before I put it into the medium blue paint. Squeeze it out and then get some medium blue so that's the middle one and do the same thing. Now the sky doesn't have to be perfectly smooth, it can have some sort of stripy effect to it. And then lastly, I'm going to put the white on like so. The final thing you do is you are going to wash your sponge out and you're going to drag the sponge between all three colours and that way you'll get the colours to blend. Okay, so I'm just going to do this until I've got it blended to a point where I like the look of it. So I want it light down the bottom and dark up the top. Again, as I say, don't worry too much if it's not perfect. You just want it to look about right. So here we go. I'm just going to add a little bit more of that dark blue to the top and a little bit more medium blue to the middle and a little bit more white. And I'm going to repeat the process. So now I've got my sky on the way I like it and um, I've just checked with the pattern. Inside your kit you've got a numbered pattern guide so it looks a little bit like this and I've just checked that I've got enough sky to come down to this area here. Don't worry as I say if it's a centimeter either side it really doesn't matter. Then I'm going to decide on, on the colors that I want to use for the sea. So these this whole area here is going to be glued down first before the boats go on. So you're going to take your blue papers and you're going to cut them up into approximately these sorts of shapes. If you really want to get fussy about it, of course you can. You've got a pattern um, here that you can cut up and you can cut these shapes out and glue them on accordingly. But there's no actual um, reason why you can't just start cutting your blue papers. So let's have a look and see what I end up with. You can see here I've got two of the different papers and what I'll end up doing is cutting out strips that look like this and like this and just gluing them down. Once I have a, a C that I like the look of, I'm going to put some green in there and I'm going to alternate it with some light blue areas and some dark blue areas. Now, as you can see, I've started and I've just cut out the bits that I like and started gluing them on. Remember, just use lots and lots of glue so that all the papers sit down nice and flat and just keep layering on top until you get the look that you want. Right, now I've completed the artwork for the sea. You can, um, you'll notice that all of the pieces that I've cut are very random and I expect that yours will be the same. I think it works best if you've got some of the pieces that actually end in sharp peaks rather than in straight edges so each bit is tapered off and then just glued on accordingly. You've got some pieces with white in there, you've got some bits that are darker than others and obviously you've got the greens and a little bit of the mauve coming through but it really doesn't matter as long as you've got some contrast and you'll create this beautiful looking sea. I'm about to start the sails now so I'll take my coloured pieces of paper and I will be cutting these out using the shapes that are in the pack. You've got a piece that looks like this. So you're going to cut out the, the shapes in the colours that you want. You can follow along with the example if you like. Or you can do something a little bit different. So I'll cut these out and then I'll show you what it looks like before I glue it down. This is what it looks like before I've actually glued the sails down and the boats down so it's not exactly like the picture in fact I've changed this sail here so it does, doesn't actually have any painting on it at all because I quite like how bright it is um, so I'm now going to I quite like that composition it's very similar though to the pattern 
I'm now going to glue it down and then I'll put the masks on. The masks are just made with a darker bluey purple colour so you can use some of the previous papers that you made for those. Now I've glued everything down in place. I'm quite pleased with the composition. You can create this exact composition by following along with your numbered pattern guide or you can place the boats where you think they look best. You'll notice it's a slightly different from the original, but not greatly so. Last thing we're going to do is create these white waves, which you often get in a lumpy sea. And the easiest way to do that is to get a white piece of paper just to rip off a bit off your pattern that you've cut up with all the different shapes. You can cut round those but it would take a long time. So the easiest thing to do is just to get the white paper and to just rip a curved sort of edge on it like this. Do the same on the other side and you want some thicker pieces and thinner pieces so it's not all the same like that. And just taper it off at the end like that and that makes a really nice wave and you can place those just behind the boats or as in the pattern you'll see you've got one here one here and so forth and it breaks up the sea and makes it look a little bit more realistic okay so I'm going to finish that off and stick those down and show you the finished result. Now we've finished the artwork. It's not exactly the same as the original but it's very close. It's lovely and bright and colourful and it resembles the pattern that's in your pack. You're going to have a lot of fun creating this I know. You can see I've made some masts here and all I've done is painted a piece of paper that I already had painted but a slightly darker colour mixing blue and red oxide together then cutting some strips applying lots of glue and then putting them in the appropriate places. This is the only one in fact that goes to the top. Have fun making your collage, enjoy the whole process and don't worry if it takes a wee bit of time, it doesn't matter um, and don't worry if it's not exactly the same. You'll enjoy all the colour and the possibilities. Thanks so much for listening, bye for now.